Kopf rein, Kopf rein, Kopf rein. Das hat der Häuser getroffen. Kopf rein. Kopf rein. Was ist passiert? Was war da? Äh, ja, einer hat, keine Ahnung, da war eine fette Fetzerei und einer hat geschossen. Ja. Wo ist wer ohne? Das ist mir ins Vorbild, bitte. Da ist wer ohne? Wer ohne? Komm her! Das ist ein Vorbild, bitte, Julia. Aber sei ja ein wenig from the center of the city as authorities reinforced border checks. Special forces are looking for other attackers as well. And Kurz has said that the army would protect sites in the capital so that the police could focus on anti-terror operations. The police had earlier shot dead one of the attackers. The assailant's identity is not known as of now. And meanwhile, Kurz said that the motive behind this attack could be anti-Semitism. This, as all the six locations in the attack were near the street housing the central synagogue. Ja, die Sitzung ist abgesagt, selbstverständlich, und viele Menschen stellen sich jetzt natürlich die Frage, wie geht es morgen weiter, und das hängt sehr stark von der heutigen Nacht ab. Es ist der Polizei gelungen, einen Täter auszuschalten, aber es sind mehrere Täter nach wie vor auf der Flucht. Der Polizeieinsatz läuft auf Hochtouren. Wir haben als Bundesregierung entschieden, dass der Objektschutz in der Bundeshauptstadt Wien jetzt auch vollständig von dem Bundesheer übernommen wird, damit die Polizei wirklich alle Kräfte zur Verfügung hat, um nach den Terroristen zu fahnden. Es ist natürlich eine sehr angespannte Sicherheitslage, insbesondere in der Bundeshauptstadt Wien. Es ist ein Täter ausgeschaltet worden, aber mehrere Täter ähm, anscheinend hier nach wie vor unterwegs. Die sind auch, so wie wir das derzeit verfolgen, sehr gut ausgerüstet, ähm, automatische Waffen, also sehr professionell vorbereitet. Es ist definitiv ein Terroranschlag. Es gibt mittlerweile 15 Opfer, die verwundet sind und derzeit in den Spitälern behandelt werden. Es gibt einen Polizisten, der angeschossen wurde, ähm, Gott sei Dank aber außer Lebensgefahr ist. Und insofern nach wie vor eine relativ unübersichtliche Situation.
The country's Jewish community leader has said that it was not clear whether the Vienna synagogue and adjoining offices had been the target, and he said that they were closed at the time. However, witnesses said that they heard at least 100 rounds of fire in the Jewish locality. Big calibers. They were shooting at least 100 rounds just in front of our building. I have no idea. What I saw was an attacker running into bars and restaurants which are adjacent to the building of the synagogue. The Vienna police says that the operation in the center of the city was ongoing and urged people to avoid all open spaces and public transport. And he is saying that there have been deaths, but he's not saying how many deaths there have been. We also know that other sources, which are unconfirmed, are talking about the, uh, the, the perpetrators of this incident, of this, what is being called by the authorities, in their words, a terrorist incident, that uh, at least one of the perpetrators is believed to have been armed with an automatic weapon. Some are speculating that it was a Kalashnikov rifle, an AK-47, and that the, one of the perpetrators who had this weapon, if this is confirmed, appeared to be... Uh, uh, firing indiscriminately. We know also that others have, uh, witnesses have spoken about dozens of shots having been fired, uh, some talking about perhaps it being 50 shots being fired. We have to be a little cautious about the reference to whether the synagogue, which was nearby, was in any way um, the target of this attack. That has not been confirmed. And indeed, the uh, scene of the crime is perhaps two to three minutes walk from that synagogue. So it would be it would be better perhaps not to to speculate too far, so far at least, in in whether that was a target of this attack. But what is clear is that the uh, federal interior minister uh, of Austria is talking about this as being a terrorist attack in his words, and that he believes that this is an ongoing situation. Well, clearly that indicates that, they, that the authorities believe that there is more than one perpetrator involved in this incident but they are speaking right now purely of one of the perpetrators having been arrested, which would suggest perhaps that there, are, there is at least one other, perhaps more than one other uh, at large right now. And of course, the timing of all of this, Dominic, French police we know are investigating the terrorist attack in Nice. Uh, that's how, uh, that is the attack that took place. Um, they've made some arrests in that case. They're questioning others. We know that a 29-year-old Tunisian man was arrested uh, after that horrific attack there. Now, there's absolutely no suggestion that any of these attacks are linked, but it comes at a, a very tense time in the region. Oh, there's no question about it that the authorities right across Europe are certainly aware of what has been taking place, as you were saying, Marianne, in different countries. And they clearly will be, have been very concerned that there might have been some sort of uh, replication of that in, in Austria. The problem here, clearly, is that while this situation is still unfolding, it is perhaps best not to, to speculate in so far as, as possible linkages with other incidents that have taken place, other than to speak about this more in the sense of the overall awareness of the situation, the overall appreciation of the dangers that are out there. And perhaps it would be best uh, to, to remind viewers what has actually happened here. We know that the police have been involved Involved in an incident involving many shots having been fired. Different sources on social media have been putting video out of what would appear to have been the uh, parts of the incident as it unfolded. And indeed, if this unverified social media footage is to be believed, then it suggests indeed that very many shots have been fired. 
What we know for certain, what has been confirmed, as I say, is what the Federal Interior Minister of Austria has said, which is that at least one perpetrator has been arrested. Now, insofar as other elements that go with this particular scenario that is unfolding right now, there is speculation, again, unconfirmed from what I have seen at any rate, that one of the perpetrators may have been uh, armed with some form of explosive belt. That is not confirmed. And uh, in the time it has taken me uh, to, to get to the situation to be able to, to broadcast, I haven't been able to confirm that elsewhere. But insofar as, as I was saying before, the general situation, there's no doubt that people, that, uh, that agencies, intelligence agencies and police forces of the main large metropolises in Central and Western Europe will have seen what has unfolded in France and will have been saying to themselves, we have to guard against something similar happening here. But clearly, as I say, this is unfolding. We have that confirmation of one arrest. We have a suggestion, a suggestion only that I have seen in the last few seconds, that perhaps uh, there may be some sort of hostage situation unfolding. Again, I have not seen that confirmed anywhere, but it is being speculated upon. So that is the situation as it stands right now. But as you say, there is no doubt that many different European intelligence and police agencies will have looked at what's happened in France in recent days, in recent weeks, and wondered whether perhaps something, might, might, something similar might happen here. But of course, we can't link what's happening here officially, directly, with anything that's happened in the last few weeks until there is some confirmation from intelligence and police sources. Indeed, and we'll continue to obviously follow uh, any information that should emerge on this story. For now, thank you very much, Dominic Kane. And we are just looking at pictures coming to us from the Austrian capital, Vienna. A shooting is underway. Police have, have said that this is a terror attack. Uh, there have been injuries and some people have been killed. This, according to the country's interior minister, who's been quoted by uh, the Austrian broadcaster ORF TV. Uh, they said it's a terror attack. There are several perpetrators involved. One of them has been killed. Others are on the run. Witnesses are saying that it happened close to the city's main synagogue, but it's not clear if the synagogue was the target of this attack. And, of course, public have been...